Hello, in this lesson I'm quickly going to explain to you the, just the basics of parabolas. So um, you can see that there's three parabolas here and they either have their legs upwards or downwards. So that then <laughs> when that happens we call these legs, if they um, show upwards we say that the parabola opens upwards. And when they go downwards we will say that the parabola opens downwards. Alright, apart from that you will see that the parabola has a vertex. Now that is the top 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 most point um, of your parabola. In this case it is at the bottom of my parabola, there at the top and there at the bottom. When they're at the bottom we call it a minimum. Oh my goodness I can't spell. I'm just going to say it's a minimum value. This vertice we call the turning point. Um, maybe I should write that out. Turning point of our parabola. When it's at the bottom we call it a minimum value. When it's at the top because the parabola is not going any uh, it, this is the maximum of the, the, the parabola it's going to be the maximum point which is also your turning point now if we draw a line here on the vertice I'm going to make it a nice let's say yellow we draw a line straight through the vertice this is what we call the axis of symmetry. Now the axis of symmetry, um, let me just get back to my black pen, the axis of symmetry is a line that cuts my parabola exactly in half. So if I can fold this side over that line to the other side, it will fold exactly onto itself. Um, and if we now have a look, let's say um, sometimes our parabola, the legs cut the x-axis. And when it cuts the x-axis, it's going to be on two places because it's a quadratic function. Now let's have a look here. Here it cuts the x-axis at point negative 4 and 0. And here it cuts it at 4 and 0. Now if I look where my axis of symmetry oh my goodness and zero where my axis of symmetry cuts here you'll see that it's four units from there to there and four units from there to there so it literally cuts my um, parabola exactly in half even if we look here let's say that is about negative seven and a half and zero and that is going to be negative four and a half and zero that will be one and a half and that would be one and a half so it cuts my parabola exactly in half where it cuts where my parabola cuts either my y-axis or my x-axis that we call your intercept um, oh I forgot to say when you do your turning point your at your vertice here you have to if you ever write that down you have to write both your x-axis of your x um, and your y what is that going to be points down all right now where it intercepts with my x-axis or my y-axis we have to route our points down you will see there my parabola cuts my um, y-axis at zero and five this leg will go on and on and on until it actually does cut my y-axis and the same with this so all my parabolas will always cut my y-axis but not necessarily my x-axis so i will be explaining to you in the next video how to draw these and what the um you'll see that the the basic we've got two um formulas from it x squared or y, um, let me just say ax, ax squared plus 
C. So that is our our basic our basic graphs that we will be discussing in the next videos.